Welcome back TK players. Jane here and today we're going to talk about how to analyze your race using race the race analysis tool designed for OC members. Now to do this you'll want to click on your race and you'll want to go here. It'll say analyze this race. If you click on it you will see a window pop up. In this window, it'll start out completely blank. And all it will have is the to and from section, the name of the race, and you can pick a couple of horses. Now, we're going to pick our horse, Fantasy. Now, in this race, it tells you who the jockey is and what stable. It also tells you what position or whatever you have in column A, this area, and whatever you have over here. I typically like to keep one as, if you go down here, time versus speed. The other one, I tend to rotate between time versus distance, time versus lane, time versus race position, and distance behind leader. You can also use this to, to see this lineup of the race. We're going to go back to time versus lane. Now here when you look at your horse, it also tells you up here, the top line of the graph represents the jockey whip. So that'll be the line right up here. As you can see, our jockey only whipped our horse a couple of times. Now, typically, if you put on your jockey that you want them to go top speed, they will whip the horse for that entire time frame. As you can see, our jockey did not do this. Because if you remember correctly, for this race, we only had one quarter of holds. So that should have been a blank area about this big. Because of that, our jockey didn't listen to us, which means we probably could have gotten a better speed out of our horse if our jockey had paid more attention to us. Though that's not always the case. If you go down, we have this time versus lane. So, as you can see here, you'll get what lane position the horse was at a specific time. If you go through and click the up arrow right here, it'll show you the different lane positions and the speed of the horse at that time. If you continue on, it'll continue to show you that for every given point. This can be really helpful to tell when things happened. Also, you can see that our horse paid attention to our jockey when they were whipped, which means they went faster. When they weren't being whipped, they went slower. The jaggedness of the line typically tells you if the horse is listening to the jockey or if they're fighting either due to another horse bumping them or trying to get into different lanes and such. As you can see here, our horse really did fight to get to the rails. The rails are always up at the top and the outside position is always down at the bottom. If you go and look at race position, it'll tell you what position in the race we were at any given time, which can really help you to understand why there might be jaggedness in your race. Now, let's go look at a pro jockey riding a horse. This is another race, and you will see that we have the horse highlighted, the jockey is a pro, and you can tell that because there is no A beside, in quotations, beside the name. And you can tell what stable they're from. Here you can see that the jockey and the horse didn't really get along. You can tell this by here we have time versus speed. And you can see an extremely jagged speed line. 
Typically speaking, that means the horse and the jockey were fighting for most of the race. And if you go, and this happens to be your own horse, you can then go look at the jockey comments for that race. And typically speaking, they'll say this horse was very spirited or I had trouble controlling the horse during this time. If we go and we look here, this is another race, you'll see that the line is not as jagged. It's much smoother and you can tell the horse typically paid better attention to the jockey. Although in the end, you can tell the horse's energy was dying down because even as they were whipped, their speed decreased. Oftentimes, if your horse is completely out of gas or stamina, at the end of a race, their speed will drop off dramatically. So that's a good indicator that you need to work on your, your stamina or your race instructions. Because if you go too hard early on in the race, then your horse may not have enough energy to finish off the race. The longer the race, the more stamina you need. Now, if we go back to our race, we can also go and add a couple more of horses to the race. So we can see how our horse did compared to other horses in our race, which is a really good way to see what our instructions did compared to what other people's did. And in bigger races, it can really tell you more about what you need to do to try to win those big races like the Cups. Now, if we go to a race that has much higher rated horses and much better pro jockeys, such as this race, you'll notice that there is hardly any bumps in the race itself for the time versus speed. And this can tell you that the jockey and the horse really get along well. The better they get along, the more likely the jockey and the horse are to listen to your exact instructions. If they listen to your exact instructions and you do it correctly, you can typically get better results. But this does take time and extremely good jockeys. If you want to go and look at some of the old races, you can go and look at, go to races and you can go and hunt for any race you desire. Another thing you can do is you can go to the races tab and go to cup information. Here, it'll tell you all the cups that are being run and all the cups that are currently running and that have run and which ones are being sponsored or not. It's a really good idea if you still have OC, you can go through and you can look at how some of the big World Cups were all run to see how they chose to run their horse through their jockey instructions, whether it be one hold for a sprint or three or five or six holds for an epic runner. It's a great tool to use to really understand how to run a horse in a race efficiently. Because the more efficient you are, the more likely you are to do better in the race. I hope this has helped, and see you next time!